fairly late season tropical cyclone threat exists for the southeastern U.S. in the form of Invest Area 98L. Right now, it's currently located at 24.1 degrees north, 66.6 degrees west, and is a fairly broad system right now, and that's going to remain the case for all of its life, pretty much. Right now, per ASCAP passes, the storm has winds, or system I should say, has winds of 35 miles per hour and a pressure of 1,007 millibars. Right now, moving north at 21 miles per hour, and that is to take a gradual westward turn over the next few days, and will take a west-southwest turn as it pushes towards Florida. This is where the system is right now, uh, pretty much in the in just off the eastern portion of the Bahamas, north of Cuba, really, and will gradually push off towards the west over the next few days. Right now, the system is currently 337 miles from, from Coburn Town, 667 from the Abaco Islands, where Dory made landfall, 676 from Nassau, and this isn't a joke, 856 miles away from both West Palm Beach and Miami in Florida. Those numbers will likely decrease as those as the system will gradually push westward, grabbing uh, gra graduating very close to those areas, and could make a strong tropical storm. Or some of those have even been detecting a hurricane landfall in portions of Florida. We'll have to wait and see on that, though. That is very low confidence right now. So having a look at the current intensity guidance right now, uh, our 35 mile per hour estimate is mainly based off of earlier ASCAP pass. Uh, that indicated winds over 35 miles per hour. Organization hasn't really changed since then, although AMSU and the ATCF system are both at low end tropical storm intensity right now for this system. So this is what the computer models are saying for the track of the system currently. This is subject to change. This is not set in stone, but most right now going for a Florida landfall on the east coast. And it is worth noting that impacts are going to extend well beyond this storm, so they're not going to be limited to just the Florida area. So this storm is going to be very huge, and I want to home that in really, really hard. Because this is going to be a very large system. This isn't going to be, you know, when a hurricane hits Florida, it's very compact. This system is going to be very large. So looking at the sea surface temperatures right now, they are still somewhat favorable uh, for this storm as it pushes off towards the west. Although sea surface temperatures will remain about the same all the way up until this landfall in Florida. They decrease a little bit as it goes into Florida, but still, overall, Pretty favorable for tropical cyclone development here in the Western Atlantic Basin. So this is what the h 4 is saying right now, uh, predicting a uh, 75 knot hurricane at 85 miles per hour. Rainfall threat looking to be a little bit on the moderate side of things, though the h 4 does say that this is the Gulf of Mexico, so Panadol area, look out for this potential system that could be coming your way. Looking at the RAM uh, diagnostic plot right now, most models are suggesting a high-end tropical storm could get to hurricane, because there's probably a way to see on that. Wind shear is high at the moment, but decreasing, and it's going to be moderately to high once it gets towards Florida and sea surface temperatures are still favorable but are going to drop a little bit and relative humidity is also on the decrease but overall conditions should be pretty favorable for this broad system and we'll likely see this storm become a tropical cyclone over the next 24 to 48 hours right now NHC give 90% chance of development in the next five days. So this is what we're seeing right now on the satellite imagery side of things. Still a very broad center circulation a lot of the convective activity is on the northern side of the circulation right now. And we have this large band that sends down the eastern side of the circulation back down to near Puerto Rico, um, delivering heavy rainfall to those areas, of course. And maybe this system will try to congeal the next 24 hours. We'll have to wait and see on that. It's got a lot of time on its hands before it gets to Florida. And it is coming, and this is a late season tropical cyclone threat for the southeast U.S. We'll have further updates on the Vest 98L as it graduated, as it grows closer towards portions of the southeastern U.S. Gulf Coast. This is a late season threat, and it's very important to take this storm very seriously. Uh, potential top cyclone advisories could be coming later on today and into tomorrow night on the 7th.